got a moment where uh, everybody's uh, busy doing something else, so I uh, thought I'd whip out the old camera and uh, give you another look at one of the boilers. Uh, at the end of the heating season, we uh, start tearing them down, have to get boiler inspections on these things every year. So we start with the uh, old one that's least used because of its efficiency and so forth. You've seen it before. It's old uh, boiler number three. It's the old, uh, uh, let's see, Union Steam Generator 1960. And uh, good old unit. And uh, thought we'd take a look. Uh, this is the firebox. I've showed you guys lots of uh, video of these things when we got a fire going. So this is inspection hole. We call through here. Those are the the burner holes, and uh, here you can see how the the walls are lined with all these tubes. This is a water tube boiler, so we put the feed water inside there, all the way around every place except the floor and the uh, front wall, and you get your flame goes through there. get my flashlight out we also uh, have to pull out these hand holes here on the side and inspector looks in there for corrosion and so on and so forth they've got a manifold along the bottom here so every so often they have us pull them out <coughs> you can see that's where the the tube ties in at the top <coughs> and we go down here see we're about where the firebox stop here's the mud drum on the bottom you got the uh, economizer down inside here we still got to clean that out it looks like uh, the guys take turns working on it in their spare time uh, when they're on shift if not a lot's going on here's your uh, your main your uh, makeup for your feed water valve and uh, way up there toward the ceiling, there's the steam drum up there and the sight glass. I'm probably going to be uh, taking apart the uh, uh, low water cutoff. we got to open that up. And here you can see this side's gotten prepped. Take the hand holes out. It's kind of neat how these things work. You know, you can't see. Uh, let's see. Ah, there you can see. There's one of those tubes coming into the top of it. And uh, most of the time these are rolled in. This is an interesting design. It's uh, egg-shaped like this for a reason. So it seals on the back side, not the front side. So the, the more pressure that goes out, it pushes against the seal harder makes it tighter instead of actually having a chance of blowing out. See, here's this all, all put together. So you, you tighten it down with that nut, but you don't have to like really torque it. And you get it centered best you can. There's a crush gasket that goes in there. And then it's kind of a neat old design. Been around forever, nothing. That's old school. Oh, and then you've got, uh, those are hand holds, and then these work the same way. This is the manhole, so guys actually had to get in here, but see this is on a, this has got a heavy, heavy plate on a hinge on the inside. It's all inside there on the water side. Then you put these uh, big brackets, one on each side. Now, as it builds up pressure, like I said, it pushes out, actually makes it tighter. You'll get a little bit of leakage sometimes. This boiler uh, didn't always have an economizer on it, so uh, everything's about temperature and pressure, and everything's in move, moving all the time. These here are your uh, oil burners. Uh, you slide these in place, and when you can run number two diesel oil and spray it in there. 
atomizes it with uh, air and you can get a flame. It's much hotter, much brighter than natural gas, but much more expensive as well. So uh, we can, uh, I know you guys have seen some of this. Here's another level. This is above the burners. This is where you got more access holes to inspect it, to look at things. Here's the uh, burners themselves. There's two of them. And uh, this is where you put the uh, those uh, uh, jets, the big nozzles for the fuel nozzles. They go in here. You don't leave them in there all the time. They're uh, precision made. And we'll go up here, start climbing up to the top. It's all automated, but it can all be operated manually. Another inspection door. I've never seen that one open. And puffing and puffing. Still not feeling very good, but I think I'm on the, on the better side of it. Shut off valves. There's the span. The water cool bearings I showed you a while back, and uh, the non-return main steam. Here's the uh, steam drum. Little steps and stairs. It's hot when it's operating. Got your safety valves here. We run at 160 psi operating pressure, and we send out. 45 degrees or 45 pounds to the uh, loop. Old building. This uh, part of the building I think was original and put up oh early 1900. Down. Watch my step here. Old man. Other side, you can see through it there. Sorry, I didn't bring my flashlight. Here's the sight glass. I'll be taking this apart with the unions here and taking it down and replace that glass in there. It's real thick. That's where your sight glass is to uh, keep an eye on the water level. We replace that every year. Okay, here's the side that's all done. And here's the side we're taking apart. Does that look heavy duty enough for you? Got these nuts and washers and clamps. Then you've got this bar that goes down. Then you've got that gasket. Here's the old one. See the difference? This is the new one on the left and the old one on the right. All those little etch marks. That's why we gotta change it every year. Anyhow, I'm gonna go have a coffee cuppy and uh, wait for somebody else to show up just for uh, safety's sake and answering the phone. Bosses aren't in yet. Everybody's got something to do today. Yeah. If you like old stuff, this is always fun. Uh oh. I'm gonna start coughing now. I'll sign off. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy Jeezy out.